Class of 2010, teachers, family, and friends, good evening. I am honored and humbled to speak on behalf of my class. That said, I have nothing to tell you. <laughs> or, more precisely, there is nothing I can tell you. You see, I should actually have less influence on how you live your lives than an unregistered voter has on Congress. You have every right not to listen to me. In fact, I encourage it. But before you doze off, let me tell you why. It is because we are all now becoming far more independent. In my opinion, the single most beautiful thing that this ceremony represents is an acceptance of personal independence every time one of us receives a diploma and shakes Principal Fisher's hand. It might not seem like much, but starting this evening, we will be taking more control over our lives bit by bit. Some may finally be able to march to the beat of their own drummer. Others may work or travel or learn or create or simply go on living contentedly the way they always have. The beauty is that each and every one of us has the freedom to choose. And part of that means you have the right to disregard my speech. And if you choose to do so, you may now proceed to doze off. As weird as this may sound, Kanye West was actually right about something. In his song, Can't Tell Me Nothing, he says, this is my life, homie, you decide yours. Even an egotistical Taylor Swift interrupting musician can sometimes prove that he understands what it means to be a person. Part of graduating from high school is deciding your own life and how you want to live it. Take some of Kanye's cockiness with you and walk with a little swagger knowing that you are captain of your own ship. Anyone that says otherwise can't tell you nothing. Another important part of taking on new independence is understanding that others may have helped us become who we are, and we thank them for that. But beginning tomorrow, we decide who we will become. Just as we have a right to make our own choices, we have a right to define ourselves as individuals. Whether you are an agnostic, fiscally conservative pastry chef, or an environmentally conscious interstate truck driver, embrace your personality. I salute you, the smart blondes, the athletic nerds, the young adults who defy the classifications that others would shackle you with. People will be all too ready to make assumptions and render judgment long before you get a chance to show what kind of a person you really are. So I encourage all of you to stand proudly for yourself, for if you do not, who will? I see testament that we have truly earned this new independence. On our own, some of us have led projects that have raised money for the sick, the hungry, and the suffering. Others have taken charge of their lives by pursuing passions in everything from bioengineering to surfboard making. This year, Titans, amid tragedy no high school class should have to bear, we rose from the dark despair to shine a radiant light, showing we are capable, tenacious, and mature beyond our years. We have stayed strong through the worst this year, and we now graduate a class galvanized by our solidarity and ready to take on anything that dares face us. Now go, sow and reap and live your lives knowing that with each step forward, none but you yourself decides where the stride will land.